Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck, and this is something completely different. This is uh, Warzone 2100. It's an old RTS game from uh, 1999. It's uh, a pretty awesome one too. It's like from the old golden days of RTS games. And, um, well, it's also free nowadays. It's, you can get it for free on this site. Uh, it's for small here, but wz2100.net. And uh, you can download it for free there. And Well, it even had a patch this year, so I thought, why not make a video of this? So, uh, this is an old classic. And uh, let's start off by showing you guys the intro. So, here we go, and I'll shut up for this. The system was developed to protect us. It was to be the ultimate nuclear deterrent. As it turned out, it was our executioner. Reports said that NASDA developed a fault during a routine systems check. Don't believe it. Someone wanted it to take us out. Those nukes were targeted on every major city around the world. NASDA was programmed to start the collapse. When the counter strikes launched, its laser defenses and anti missile ground sites failed. The world as we knew it ended. The nuclear winter hit hard. Disease and famine claimed most of us who had survived the nuclear strikes. Wars over cans of dog food took even more. We'd fled Seattle early in 86. We'd heard that the Rocky Mountains were relatively rad-free. After fighting off bands of marauders, we came across the base. Its personnel were dead. Killed by any one of a number of billion diseases. We cracked the doors and cleared out the bodies inside. things would never be the same again. But we were determined to build a new world out of the ruins. We rebuilt the landing pads and brought the old systems back online. We were finally ready to begin the project. And there we go. That, uh, so that's our setting. It's a uh, yeah post-apocalyptic nuclear wasteland, and uh, we gotta get it back. <laughs> and uh, well, this game it has some interesting ways of doing things, and uh, that's why I showed this because it has done some things that you don't see uh, much in other FP uh, RTS games, and yeah. It's, it's good for that. Uh, it has some bad times too. It, it has multiplayer, but it's, um, it's a thing. The campaign is much better if you ask me, so let's just start a campaign. And well, this is uh, back from the old days, so it means a lot of M MMVs. So here's another video. Commander, you lead Team Alpha, one of three expeditionary teams sent out by the project to recover artifacts from before the collapse. Your destination lies in the Western Zone. Commander, you are to establish a base in this sector. Once the base is established, begin your search for a pre-collapse structure located in this sector. This building is believed to contain advanced neural synapse technology that is vital to the success of the project. And there we go. 
So, uh, yeah, that's this for the intro. And as you can see, the, the movies are of nowadays low quality, but um, yeah, back in the day they were good. And uh, actually, if you believe this, this, these are the high quality movies. It's um, doing the oh, more movies. This one is a short one at least, and from here on out all the movies are way shorter and it's more, um, yeah, about the story. And, um, well, let's just start off here. As you can see, it's an RTS game, a strategy game. And, um, it's pretty simple in that way, and it is is not. Um, I'll need to build more things to show you and kill some many dudes. Um, now I sent them back to defend. You know what? You guys defend for over here for a while. And I wonder how this video is going to work because I haven't done any any RTS this before. Yeah, my mic is on right. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, I haven't done any RTS games on yeah on a Let's Play or a video before, and yeah, they're not really that good to Let's Play or to make a video of. But. Um, well, we'll just see. I'm, I'm trying to do this fast at least, and uh, that will help. Um, let's make sure I build everything and then I can move on. And this should be enough for now. Um, okay, so as I get said, you can build tanks. And uh, you can design tanks yourself, and that's one of the very awesome parts of this game. So let's show that. Uh, that's with the design function down here, and there's not much options. You have one truck, uh, which is a building guy. Building guy. But now we're going to design a new truck and um, or a new tank even. There's not much choice though. There's uh, first a chassis. Well, it's got a Viper body. is pretty simple. Then we stick some wheels next to that, and um, well, we have a machine gun. Well, we can also change to the um, construction truck. But well, we need some more yeah, tanks for now, so it's a, a machine gun, machine gun viper wheels, and could even rename it to um, shooty, shooty, tanky gun. Whatever. <laughs> could even save this as a template, or no idea. Um, but that's enough for now. Now let's build our shooty, shooty, tanky gun. Um, if you go back using this button and the, down to the manufacturing button, the tank actually has yeah, arrived here. And as you can see now it's very simple because I don't have the technologies yet. I have just the machine gun. And uh, later on you'll get way way more weapons. There's tank cannons, there's missile launchers, there's mortars and there's a whole lot to do and a whole lot to combine in your tanks. and. Yeah, and multiple body types and, and uh, truck types too. Even uh, some special ones. But uh, yeah, it's all for you to discover. And well, here, let's squash some rebels. <laughs> let's squash some, some raiders, even. This game goes all by the, um, the whole Mad Max post apocalyptic style. And um, sometimes your tanks are retarded. Well, that uh, has to be sad from old games like this. The AI just isn't that all that good, but well, it, uh, it's better than other games. And uh, let's just yeah wipe out this scavenger base. I could focus fire, but yeah, we need it is like like this for now. And here is the yeah basically the main objective of the game: research items. You pick something up like that, you search it, and then you get more options to build or more options to research and yeah that means more weapons and yeah making your army bigger um, so also um, you might have missed this but this is an oil well this is the like the one resource of this game uh, you need oil and oil creates power and uh, for that you need an oil well you need a power generator you need um, one power generator, nee, one power generator for every four oil wells, so one is enough in the beginning. Uh, some extra research labs in the beginning does not hurt though, so let's build those already. Um, 
kind of money out of money like this too, but that's okay. Let's just build some more tanks too. Since I want to move on as quickly as possible. Um, well, my research is completed. That was a, a, a research that gave me all more damage to my machine guns. So, that's nice to have. Now my new tank should be better. And I'm not sure if the old ones are. Oh, here. Yeah, the oil wells, you just click on them with a construction truck and you'll make an oil well. An oil derrick, even. And then... Um, yeah, use that for more money, more power. And power goes automatically. It's uh, like the subcom and total relation trend of the games never runs out. It's an uh, infinite source of power, and I like it for that. That's uh, all RTS games should have that. You shouldn't be forced to move to new resources like in Warcraft or Starcraft. It's, I know real RTS players probably will laugh at me for that, but. Um, I'm not a real RTS player, I, I play RTS for the single player, and the single player in this game is pretty fucking superb, and if you ask me, yeah, resources should always be unlimited, resources even. Now, uh, let's move on, so, I've, I've, yeah, uh, how do you say it, clear this, this first area, and we move on to the next one, and, um, well, there probably be some more raiders. And uh, don't worry, this is very goddamn easy, but later on there will be real enemies in real tanks to fight against. This is just the beginning of the game. And um, well, let's just stop there a little and smash a little base over here. Um, these buildings of theirs, these. Yeah. Uh, create buildings? Uh, buildings. Raiders. And. Um, I need to move on. Um, let's see. Uh, my tanks are also very dest uh, destroyed at the moment, but oh well. I don't have the repair technology yet. That's I think later in this level. And uh, anyway, there was a new thing there. Oh, a uh, new research, and that research was the flamethrower. So now, when this research is done, I'll be able to make a flamethrower tank and. That's pretty damn good against these rebels, these, these raiders. So, um, let's do that as well. And, uh, yeah, move up this guy here. You need to wait until the, the oil stops burning before you can actually build a derrick, but, um, well, that's okay. Uh, how about I send all my army, because I have more than enough. Like, four tanks is probably enough for this whole mission if you uh, just manage them carefully. Um, and, um, it's a simple RTS, but, well, you'll see more about why I like this in a moment, uh, because this works with map expansion, and, um, yeah, that sounds weird maybe, but the map expands, it isn't a static map and you move on from map 1 to map 2, Um you'll actually keep the same base here, and the area will get bigger. Uh, and that's something you don't see very often in RTS games, at least I don't, and well, maybe I don't because I don't play much RTS games anymore. Last RTS played that game was... the game I played was uh, Supreme Commander 2, and that was fucking horrible. <sighs> it's such a shame, Supreme Commander 2. Supreme Commander 1 is such an awesome game, but they try to consoleize it, and uh, that's a bad thing. Especially for RTS games. And, uh, well, here's more research. Let's see, what is this? Um, it's uh, a machine gun guard tower. So now I can make little guard towers and uh, defend my base instead of just using tanks for that. Um, let's build one over here. Um, more maybe not yet because uh, it hasn't been completely researched yet. Um, now down here is the last level, last... Uh, base of this level, and if I beat that, I move on to the next one. And uh, that's fine and all, but this game... Oh, that's the wrong one. I need more tanks. Um, five is enough, please. Yes. Six is enough, too. Um, what I want to say is, yeah, this game 
this game works on time limits. You don't see any time limit at the moment, but once I beat the level, then I'll get a time limit. And uh, yeah, that'll continue on the whole game. Basically, there's there's always a rush. You always need to move on, and there's uh, this is one of the few missions you you have to take to take it easy. So if you're a new player and uh, you want to take your time building up your base, this is the time to do it. Because now you have all the time in the world and you can actually yeah, wait until you, your bar is completely filled with oil and then move on to the next level and you'll be a whole lot better at the game, uh, well, better, better prepared even, than if I just finish the level now with my energy bar completely empty. But um, well, it's still easy and I think I should be able to do this, so let's move on since I really want to show you the expanding part of this game. That's what's really why I really like this campaign. You build one base and it's not rebuilding a base again and again, it's taking away one base and yeah, making it more awesome. Um, and using it in. Sometimes you get uh, transports too to go, uh, yeah fly your tanks to another location and do a mission there and well that was this base <laughs> as I said this was very easy it's an upgrade for my engineer truck also mission accomplished now you could save the game if you want and uh, well let's want to do some of my test save games well let's call this let's play at least so I can really find it later again let's play um, and we continue the game. Oh, movies. Commander on securing the first zone in your sector and recovering the artifact. We have an additional mission for you. This power surge was detected a few minutes ago by our HQ. Analysis of the pulse indicates a major power source to the south of our position. Investigate and secure the area. Recover any artifacts in the vicinity. Mission timer activated. And now you see the map expands. It was very small at the moment, or it was the top part here earlier, but now we can also go to, to the south. And yeah, that's what I meant with map expand and why this this is awesome. <laughs> it's, uh, it just is. Um, before I move on, let's build a little bit of towers at least. Um, the enemy has a... yeah... likes to ambush you here. And, um, well, let's just build a tower to stop that. And have some tanks here to shoot at them too. Tanks should loosely you just shoot at whatever they can, so uh, that's fine. Oh. I never did make any flamethrower tanks, didn't I? Let's do that. Um, let's design a new tank. And, uh, well, strong body, normal wheels, but now with a flamethrower on it. It kind of sucks, and especially later in the game, but, uh, well, it's something I can show you guys, so let's show you guys. Also, yeah, please protect this south wall. That one dude needs to die. Him. <laughs> um, also, I'm very much out of money since I'm going so fast, but so well. well. Uh, let's attack here some more. Let's keep these four for defense, and these five can go attack. There we go, and oh, well, I've signed, designed the tank, but I've not built it yet, of course. Let's build some flamer tanks. Attack together. Later on, you can do some special stuff with linking up your tanks with a commander vehicle and um, with some radars. And you have long range guns, but yeah, that's all later. It's well, not that much later. Um, I'd like to see a flamethrower tank before we move on, but no, not yet. Um, well, U5, it's not big enough, but let's storm this base at least. There we go. And yeah, that's not much of strategy at the moment, <laughs> as I said. Rebels, Raiders, they're, they're weak. Weak sauce. And uh, 
that's one more of the bases. And I think I had an artifact out of that. Um, a flamethrower upgrade. Well, that's nice to have now. Also, let's do the other upgrades. Although I'm severely out of money. So uh, this is why I should wait, actually. So I could research these things a whole lot faster and make them. Since I'm doing all these things at once, they're first trying to be funded. You see the green bar filling up, then it's probably being produced with the yellow bar. Yeah, like this. This one's being funded now, but there's no money, so I'm deep in the minus. But uh, I have one flame tank, let's uh, send it to the front. Um, also, you're way too busted. This will be a nice group. With one flame tank and <laughs> a couple of other tanks. Uh, machine gun tanks. Or Viper wheels, even. These are just wheeled things. And. Yeah, as you can see, the, the whole design aspect is it's more like Legos. It's three options for a tank, but well, we have a lot of options. That still is a lot of options. <laughs> that the combines to way more options even. But uh, I really need more, yeah, to show you. Um, so let's move on now. Let's show your little flamer go, dude. He has a flamethrower. <laughs> it's pretty simple, and he's pretty close range too. Um. So research is done. Um, well, more flame gels, sure. And here is a radar. Very important for your cause. So let's move the tanks up there. Um, would be nice if they all went up there and shot this thing since it's the only one shooting back. There goes float flame tower. And the flamethrower has also a lower uh, rate of fire than the machine gun, so yeah. Especially in the beginning, that it might it takes a whole lot of time to reload. You're probably just better off with loads of machine gun tanks. So um, well, now I have a radar at least. Now oh, with that we can make radar vehicles, radar yeah, t uh, turrets to help me out. Uh, I'd rather have the repair option item about now. Oh, and there it is. The mobile repair turret. Um, now, if it was smart, I'd re yeah repair these tanks before I move on. And um, well, I am not. Uh, let's attack this base here, and then we repair. So back in my base, things still being built, but uh, yeah, got no monies. Um, Fine now. I think I lost my flamethrower tank. Yeah, but so oh well. Let's see if the, my guys can actually beat this. Since they're all so hurt. Two left <laughs> and almost one left. Focus on the vehicles for now. Now he's doomed. Also, the tanks get experience like. Uh, yeah, like all the RTS games. <laughs> what can I compare it to with experience? Um, experience is experience. And um, this helps more. It's speed up for the, the flamethrower guys. Um, also, I think my research of the... No, that's not done yet. Mobile repair turret. Um, well, first let's send some of our guys to the front. There we go. And um, yeah, well, basically you, you've seen the, the basics that this game has to offer yet. No, no other tanks yet, but that, uh, that's a couple of basics in the, in the game yet. Um, it, um, yeah, it, it's a complete RTS game. It's, it's It was made by professional studios, Pumpkin Studios, which was under ADOS. And uh, yeah, made in the golden age of RTS games, uh, 1999, 1999 even. Where also all the ga great games like Total Annihilation so came from that era. But um, yeah, it never finished. Or, well, sometime after that, the RTS games after died in the last five years. Mostly doing, I guess, console FPS games. But, or maybe the, the rise of the consoles. Back in the day, the PC was way more popular, and then, uh, yeah, the mouse really helps for RTS games. 
But, um, well, why am I talking about this? It's not important for this video at least. Um, actually, my repair turret is done, so let's make one. Um, let's design a new tank. And um, this is not a gun, but a helpful thing. And uh, now I also have the radar turret, but also the repair turret. So let's make a repair turret. And, um, well, let's keep the normal name. It's feeling inspired now. And let's build one. Um, first is still building all the flame tanks, yeah. Um, let's stop the flame tanks for now, so I have more money to throw around. Um, and I'm being attacked. No, oh. oh dear. Uh, this is slowly killing my army, but <laughs> oh well. This will work out. Um, uh, yeah. We really went too fast, but yeah, as you can see, the timer still have 15 minutes left. This <laughs> is one hour for this mission. You could probably do it in 10 minute minutes, probably even less than that if you yeah really knew what you're doing. You were speed running this game. Don't know if there's much speed runs of RTS games, but uh, this is one where I guess it could be done. But since it's all so time based, um, well, I'd really like that time to be done now. Please, uh, well, it's funded, and um, there it goes. So, um, while well, this is building, is there anything else I can tell you about? Um, yeah, about the multiplayer, perhaps. I, I'm probably going to piss off the, the like one tw Warzone 2100 multiplayer fan who watched this video, but the multiplayer is not all that good. It's uh, it's a weird concept. Um, in the multiplayer, you just start like this. You start the whole base. But you have all the technologies already from the start, and the only thing you need to do is research them. So, you, like you start with four basic research options, and those branch off to other research options later, and you have no idea what unlocks what. And um, well, maybe oh, a yeah, veteran <laughs> Warzone 2100 player will know that, but yeah, you really need to be veteran to know that whole list and know where what to research first so you can get, get better items and I don't see anybody working in a multiplayer match. I, I've tried skirmish a couple of times but it's terrible. <laughs> it's it's fucking terrible. But um well that's me also I, I'm a terrible RTS player like I said. I am a I hate StarCraft, I hate Warcraft. It's yeah they're fun games but the single player at least. The multiplayer it's way too much clicky 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 clicky. <laughs> it's uh, way too fast. And um, yeah, I'd rather have building a, a little, yeah, building some tanks and designing it yourselves and sending them off to the future. That's uh, that's way more my thing. And um, that's why this Warzone 21 game, it's, it's old but it's very cool. Okay, so now I have a repaired army. And now we're going to destroy everything. Um, if I was always smart, I'd make a group which had the flamers in front. You know what? I'll try that. You can just double click easy on enemies to sort them of the same types. Now I wipe group 1 and group 2. Uh, let's send them both here. Group 1, group 2. Now I should be able to take that base with ease. And let's research some more while we're at it. Um, there go tanks. Maybe we should zoom them out a little bit. <laughs> we killed something on the way here. Okay, but now I want the flamers in front. Yes. Okay. Flamers are there. Flamers here. Machine guns there. That should do the trick. Um, if the flamers attacked. No. They are not all that smart. That's this is why I don't like some flamers. They need to stand still or something to, to fire, and well, they're already dead. <laughs> and, um, yeah, don't build flame tanks. It's just easier to wait until you have the next up upgrade and build actual tanks with cannons. And uh, that's this little base. Um, 
What did that give me for research? An updated twin machine gun. Well, that's an upgrade. Two machine guns on the same tank. Costs a little bit more money to make one, but uh, it's a better one. And well, later on you get even better machine guns. But for now, that is pretty awesome, and that would kill completely kill this map. Um, so let's move on a little bit. And you know what? Let's build some units while we're at it. No. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's also one of my problems. I can't take notice of the mini app and play at the same time. <laughs> Which is why I'm fucking horrible at RTS games. <laughs> so yeah, my base was destroyed while I wasn't looking. Whoopsie. <laughs> um, yeah, as I said, I'm not the best RTS player. But I, I, I enjoy it strategy games like this once in a while and uh, this is my once in a while this year um, well here we move on and I'll definitely not be able to take that base at the moment so yeah let's just send him back and uh, maybe maybe just end the video too this has been long enough to show you uh, a view of this game of Warzone 2100 um, let's go back to the menu um, so yeah New game, you just you can get it to this site, wzz2100.net. It is for free. You can get it, and uh, oh, yeah, uh, if I tell you, I should tell you this. If you download it from the site, uh, you get an installer, you get the newest one, the latest beta. Uh, I have an old one here from early this year, 2012, but there's one out of February 2 now. Um, but when you get the installer, run the installer and let the installer download the videos for you otherwise you won't have all those those in-game videos I showed you earlier and the campaign really needs that or otherwise you have no idea what you're doing so make sure if you download this game to yeah yeah make the downloader download the movies <laughs> it's uh, make the installer download the movies even and um, well, that's all you really need to know um, oh yeah, I'd show you the multiplayer um, let's just start here. Um, no idea of these many options actually. Uh, you have a lot of maps too, and they're probably all pretty good. Well, this is a map. Um, can I start this now? Uh, I forgot how to do that since I never do. Um, this seems better. What's the starting option? <laughs> Not the map prep preview. Um, uh, I fuck with the names or something here. Anyway, oh, that might be it. Da. No. <laughs> well, I should have done the skirmish. That was the thing. Um, skirmish game with myself with Captain Dirk. Uh, one player scare me sure can I start this now maybe check it on the map map preview I need players and the players are on the right here but I should be on the right this is the player name I should have prepared this before making the videos guys um, you know what I can pause the game for a second was video even. Ah, stupid, it was just this button, start hosting game. So, now I'm ready, and that should start the multiplayer side, or the skirmish side of things. When uh, and skirmish is almost uh, always a fun mode of R the RTS games, I've played hours and hours of Red Alert 2 skirmish, or come on, a conquer skirmish even. But yeah, here we have a skirmish mode, and we can research whatever we want but uh, yeah I could research an engine and that might lead to flying planes later but I, I have no ideas what that leads to now I know there's on the internet there's like a giant list of uh, a tech tree and you can download the tech tree and look at that and if you follow that you can yeah, see what you want to unlock but <laughs> actually to play this multiplayer or scheme issue you, you need to have to have memorized and complete tech tree and that's a big tech tree let me tell you um 
Let me see if I can use this to design some new tanks at least. I have, uh, well, at least two types of tracks options, the, the wheels and the half tracks, and the half tracks are generally better, and about the same options I had earlier, only a command turret new. Um, let's just make another yeah, machine gun tank, oh, and I shouldn't have pressed that button. Anyway, now I can make machine guns, now I can try killing my opponents, and that's the skirmish. And I can try research things and hope for the best that it will unlock a good thing. But, um, okay, that, that's really been enough for this video. It's been enough to show you was in 2100. Uh, I hope you liked this video. And uh, I hope the one for was on 2100 fan, uh, which still exists, um, would like this too. And <laughs> I haven't insulted the game too much. But, um, yeah, just just get it. It's an old RTS game. It's free. It's uh, back in the day. It cost money, but not anymore. And uh, it's pretty fucking awesome for the campaign, at least. That's my okay. That's my final word on this. And uh, I'll see you guys later.